let's have a look at this vessel. Vessel anchored south of Weistad observes the following. Abacus light, 298 compass, Weistad south, 009 compass, and Kase Barga light, 078 compass. The first process now is to find out the difference between these compass bearings. The first compass bearing that is 009 and 298 degrees compass comes to 071 degrees. The second difference between Weistad and Kasebarga comes out to 069. The next step for this is to do 90 degrees minus 071 degrees that is 90 minus uh, uh, the angle the difference whatever you get. In the first case it comes down to 19 degrees. In the second case, 90 minus 069 degrees comes out to 21 degrees. It is these two these two angles we will be using on the chart. Now let's come to the chart. Let's identify these lights. The first one is Abeka's light. We have Abeka's light over here. This is Abeka's light. The second one is Weistad South. So we have these Weistad South. And there are many lights over here. We take the light which is the, uh, the maximum uh, amplitude. The third one is Kasebarga. Kasebarga happens to be here. So the first step is for us uh, on the chart, draw the base lines, join up Abikas and Weistad because they are the first two lights and followed by Weistad and Kasebarga. Once that is done, we go to the next step of drawing this angle 19 degrees on the baseline. So we take our uh, set square. So the zero one nine degrees, we draw it on the baseline and we see that it intersects at this point. So we mark this point. That is part one. Now we have 0 to 1 degrees, which we draw on this baseline. Can you see for two holes they have put 1.12? So either because they had uh, uh, cargo, yeah, either because so now we have two points based on this angle. The next step is to draw a circle using this as a center and one of the lighthouses as a, as a circumference. We draw this circle. They got 47,949. Whereas for that particular graph, they are And then from this point, using this as your baseline. We draw another circle. You can draw it fully, but all what we want is the circles where they intersect this position. This is the, the true fix of the ship. As a recap, we have Abekas, Weistad, and Kasiparga lights. The difference between Abekas and Weistad was 071. 90 degrees minus that comes out to uh, 19 degrees. Keeping the Abekas and the Weistad, this as a baseline, we draw 19 degrees and extend the line. From Weistad, again towards Abekas, we do we do 19 degrees and these two lines met at this point. We do a similar thing between Weistad and Kasebarga and we draw this uh, 21 degrees, the line 21 degrees. Yeah, yeah. The point we, comes we here. Post which we use a compass and draw a line touching Abekas, keeping this as a radius, we draw a line and again from this point what we got between Weistad and Kasibarga, keeping uh, uh, keeping this point at the center and uh, Weistad as one of the circumference, we draw the line, we draw another circle. Both the circles meet at this point. This happens to be the fix of the vessel at anchor. Now this is a fix, we also have the compass bearings. So the next step for us is take the compass bearing of the nearest object that is 
uh, that is y star. Y star is bearing uh, 0, 0, 4. Y star is bearing 0, 0, 4. So we which, which compare with, with 0, 0, 9 and then we can get our compass, compass error. Okay, so from this fix, the vessel is at anchor. We take the nearest light, that is Y star, and we see that it is it is bearing 0, 0, 4 degrees true. But actually what we got is 0, 0, 9 degrees compass. So the compass error is 5 degrees and the compass is more than the true and that's why the error is best. So now we have compass error as 5 degrees best at this position. Okay. Right. Now we come to the next part of the question. F uh, find the position of the vessel which is already found out, compass error already obtained. Uh, from this position, find a compass course to steer to pass hammer rod light position is given 2 miles off contracting a current setting 0, 6 de uh, 0, 6, 0 degrees true and and 2 knots so first let us let's complete of the first one so the first requirement is to pass off hammer rod light hammer rod light is is located here at this point so we have to pass 2 miles off so the first thing what we do is we take 2 miles off from the directed scale keep it on hammer rod light to an arc. Next step is to, from your position, from your fix, to hammer out light as a, I mean, draw a line as a tangent. This line from your fix to passing two miles of uh, hammer out light will be your course made good because ultimately we have to pass uh, two miles off. You also have a current which is setting 0, 6, 0, uh, 0, 6, 0 degrees true and 2 knots. So we have to find out what is the course to steer. So from this location, we take 0, 6, 0. Zero, six, zero. Again 2 miles off. It cuts at this point. So in one hour, the current will push the ship till here. This, the ship speed is given as 12 knots in the in the initial section. Ship speed, 12 knots. So we have to go back to the latitude scale, take 12 miles off. Take 12 miles. From this point, from this point where the current was 2 miles, we cut an angle, we cut the uh, 12 miles off and it comes over here. So this distance is 12 miles. Pardon? This distance is 12 miles and that is our course to steer. Now we go back to our So course to steer is 098 degrees true. That means we have to steer a course of 098 degrees true. Remember we are still in true. So this is a course to steer. But now our question also says we have a strong northerly wind causing a leeway of 5 degrees. That means we have a wind from the north and pushing the ship towards the south so to counter that we have to give a leeway of 5 degrees. So the 098 degrees is a true course to steer. The wind is pushing the ship towards the south, so we contract it by, uh, by doing 098, 098 degrees minus 5 degrees, which is 093 degrees true. So the true course to steer is 093 degrees true.